Hi, Kevin here. Today we're going to fix a good old-fashioned peanut butter pie. And I made another pie earlier today. Let me show it to you. And it looks pretty, except there's one ingredient here that I don't really care for, and that is Cool Whip. It's a fake whipped topping. So Mr. Fox happens to love Cool Whip, so this pie will be for him. And then I'm going to make another pie just for you and me. And I'm going to use whipping cream instead of Cool Whip. So the first thing you need to do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we're going to make the crust. Now for the crust, you will need 140 grams of pretzels. And I'm using gluten-free pretzels simply because that's what I had on hand. And then put the pretzels in the bowl of a food processor and grind them up. They should resemble sand. I'm going to grind these and I'll be right back. And here are the pretzels all ground up. So now pour these into a bowl, just a medium sized bowl. And by the way, this should equal roughly one and a quarter cups of ground pretzel. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of regular granulated sugar. Let me stir that in. Just give it a light toss. And then add six tablespoons of melted butter. And you want to stir this just until all the little bits of pretzel are coated with the butter. And everything should be very well mixed together. So don't rush this. Make sure everything is really mixed. I know most people use an Oreo cookie crust for peanut butter pie, but I don't. Okay, then you need a, just a nine, regular 9 inch pie plate. And I did lightly spray this with vegetable spray. And then in go the crumbs. And then we want to spread them out. And you can use your fingers, your knuckles, the heel of your hand, or a little measuring cup. And you want to spread the crumbs and push them against the wall, or rather the, the sides of the pie plate. Yeah, you'll find that this peanut butter pie is somewhat less sweet than the Oreo cookie crusted peanut butter pies. Okay, now I'm going to use my fingers, rather my knuckles, just push them firmly against the sides. and all across the bottom. And then this goes into the preheated 350 degree oven for eight to 10 minutes. We just want everything to firm up. So we'll be back. All right, here's the baked pretzel crust. And I'm going to let it cool to, uh, to room temperature on a wire rack. Meanwhile, we can go ahead and whip up the cream. All right, so what I have here is 16 ounces or two cups 
of heavy whipping cream. Let me show you the carton. And I'm going to beat this in my scan mixer. You could use rotary beaters if you like. You could even use a great big giant balloon whisk to beat your cream. And I'm going to start this out at medium speed and then increase it to high. And I'm looking for soft peaks. So I'll come back when we are at the soft peak stage. And by the way, if you're worried about the whipped cream splattering around as it beats, just cover the bowl and part of the mixer with a towel. There, full speed ahead. Okay, let's have a look at this. I may have overbeaten. I did. Mine is a little too stiff. But that's alright, we're going to use it anyway. So then, let me move this out of here. We're going to transfer all of this to a bowl. Let me fix the camera so you can see. So you get a stunning view of the whipped cream going into a bowl. How exciting is that? Especially when your view is of the back side of the mixing bowl. Put all of it in there. And we're going to be using half of this cream in the peanut butter mixture and the other half will be used as a topping for the pie. So I'm going to pop this into the refrigerator while we wait for the uh, pie crust to cool to room temperature. We'll be right back. And here's a pro tip to help your pie crust cool a little faster. Set it in a tub of cold water. All right, on to the filling. Now, you do not have to wash out the bowl in which you whipped the cream. Just reattach it. And also, well, I'll attach this mixing paddle in just a moment. What we have to do is put one cup of peanut butter in the bowl. And let me show you the peanut butter I'm using. It's Jif natural peanut butter and in you go I got all of it in there yeah I really love the taste of peanut butter actually peanut butter is one of my multiple weaknesses yeah I'd like to say one of my few weaknesses but in all honesty I got a lot of weaknesses because I love food. It's a good thing I also love to cook. And then to the peanut butter, we're going to add uh, eight ounces of thoroughly softened cream cheese. And if you forget to leave your cream cheese out overnight, just take it out of the foil wrapper and put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. It'll soften right up. In it goes, and then have to attach the mixing paddle. And again, you could do this with rotary beaters. We're going to mix this just until it's fairly smooth. We'll be right back. We are back. We are mixed, and now I'm going to add one and a half cups of confectioner's sugar. And then I'm going to beat this at low speed at first, just so that confectioner's sugar doesn't go flying all over the place. There, now we can increase the speed. Good. 
Okay, I'm going to scrape down the bowl. I'm going to use the same spatula that I used for the whipped cream. Yeah, you really don't have to dirty a lot of dishes for this peanut butter pie. Okay, and then mix just for another 30 seconds or so. I'll come back when we're ready. Okay, that didn't take but 10 seconds. This mixture of peanut butter, cream cheese, and confectioner's sugar is out of this world delicious. In fact, I'll say, you have not lived until you've tried a mixture of peanut butter, cream cheese, and confectioner's sugar. It's really wonderful. I sometimes eat it in a little dessert goblet when I have a hankering for something sweet and wonderful late at night. I told you I have a lot of weaknesses. Okay, now, because I want this to have a silky uh, texture, I'm going to add half of the whipped cream. Okay, and I added that with a clean spoon because I want to keep the rest of the whipped cream clean. In other words, I don't want to get bits of peanut butter in the remaining cream, because this is going to go on top of the pie. Okay, and I'm going to just beat this in at low speed. Okay, that's in. And then take my earlier spatula and again scrape down. Boy, I hope this video isn't going to be too long. I tend to be a little long-winded. Yet another weakness of mine. Okay, now we're going to really beat it in. So we want to mix in the whipped cream, but we don't want to beat out all of the air. Oh, look at this. I'll take the paddle off. Look at this. Oh, could you not just lick? Ooh, <laughs> I've got it in my hand now. Oops, could you not just lick this silky stuff? Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, and my pie crust is cool enough. That we can fill the shell. Hang on. Yeah, by putting this pie plate in the pan with a little bit of cold water, the crust cooled room temperature in about 15 minutes. Very quick. And then we can put this absolutely stunning peanut butter mixture in the pie shell. Yeah, earlier I mentioned that sometimes I can be long-winded, and what I meant was that I tend to give, perhaps, uh, too many details when I'm doing these recipes for you. But, in truth, I think the more details you have in the video, the more likely you'll be to make whatever it is we're making. Okay, that looks very beautiful, just like this. In fact, it doesn't even need any decoration, uh, but we will be decorating it. What we have to do now is put this in the refrigerator to let everything set up for about an hour. And by the way, uh, make sure to put the remaining whipped cream in the refrigerator as well. Okay, we'll be back when this is set up. Okay, my pie is pretty much set up, and 
I wanted to mention that you could very well serve the pie just like this, except it looks a little naked. So let me show you the decoration I'm going to use. Okay, so I have two ounces of bittersweet chocolate that I chopped up coarsely. And then I'm going to transfer the chocolate to a small bowl. And then I'm going to melt this in some hot coffee. And here's the coffee. About, I don't know, a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. And just let the chocolate sit here and it will melt very quickly. And if your chocolate is too thick, you can always thin it out by adding a little more coffee. So here's the consistency you want. You should be able to drizzle it off of a whisk or a spoon. Okay, and the other thing I'm going to use is a handful of salted peanuts. Sorry for that break, I had wanted to show you the jar of peanuts. So these are lightly salted peanuts. And I just pulse them a few times in the food processor. So they have kind of a coarse texture. Okay, let me fetch the pie and then we can do our decorating. All right, decoration time. So I'm going to put the remaining whipped cream right in the center of the pie. Let's make a nice big mound. the spatula, snowflakes. And then I'm going to spread this out, but I'm going to try to leave oh, about a one inch border so that some of the um, peanut butter is exposed. Try being the operative word. Looks good. And then I'm going to sprinkle some peanuts on top. Now I know some people will put peanuts in the chocolate and then uh, sprinkle the chocolate on top, but I'm going to do the crushed peanuts first. I don't know if I'm going to use all of these, but I will use most of them. Yeah, the peanuts kind of tell, tell us what the pie is. It's a peanut pie. Peanut butter. Okay. On goes the chocolate. Let's see if I can move you a little closer. That. Okay. Now, if you have a squirt bottle, it would be best to put the chocolate in the bottle and then you can just, you know, squirt the chocolate all over. I can't find my squirt bottle. Okay, here we go. Drizzle. You can have fun with this. You can do zigzags or lines or circles. Oh, it's looking attractive already. This way. Okay, I think my chocolate sauce was a little too thin. Nevertheless, it's still a very beautiful pie. Okay, and here it is. beautiful slice of peanut butter pie. Let me grab a fork. Here goes. Oh, 
Oh, super. Now the peanut butter taste is really strong. It's dominant. And the peanut butter filling is very silky because of the whipped cream we added. And of course the the crust, to my surprise, is really delightful. The um, uh, pretzels, the pretzel crust is very good indeed. So, hmm. I'm afraid I might eat this whole pie. Oh, how I wish you lived next door, because I would love to bring you a slice of this glorious pie. Uh, I hope you will give the pie a try, and I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already, and please tap the bell icon to receive notifications, and please post a comment below. I do read all of your comments, and I do love hearing from you. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you very soon with another delicious recipe. Bye-bye.